And Day is Legend back here for Xbox Live Network here with a ID at Xbox Showcase. Checking out Bird Game Plus. This game was developed by Brian Teber and published by Rattalaka Games. Released on the Xbox Store on May 1st for the price of $4.99. So we'll check out the game. We will try to 1K it if we have time here. Um, so th this is like a... You could 1K in probably 40 minutes, under an hour or so. Um, we'll see how far we can get. Maybe in less time than that, but that's just a rough estimate for most people. So uh, we'll be starting up the regular game mode. Um, there is an achievement for playing the game in dark mode or just completing a level. I actually prefer... Um, seems like we lost our fancy water, but... Uh, Whatever. Um, I actually prefer the game in dark mode over the regular white because it's easier on the eyes. So here we go with the first level. It's first level, it starts off sort of like a tutorial of sorts. Love sick moves, of course. Um, there's no shooting anything in this game. Uh, you pretty much just have to avoid stuff. And, um,. Yeah, you do have to grab some objects um, later in the game, so we'll see those mechanics coming up. Okay, I'm pretty sure I avoided him, but whatever. Hold X. You want to hold X to sort of avoid or like fly into the wind or against the wind or whatever. These little circle things will speed you up. And get an achievement for doing that. And you want to pick up these little, I don't know, crumbs in the air or whatever that recovers your health. Except for in, um, in um, endless mode, you do not recover health in that mode. And you do get an achievement for recovering health by uh, eating this bird food. Rip. I was distracted looking at something. Checkpoints as well, so if you die, you respawn at the checkpoints. Doesn't really affect anything if you die and go to the checkpoints again in the um, in the endless mode you don't get checkpoints you don't recover health once you die you die you have to restart the whole level over a weird game this this kind of sort of reminds me of uh, some other game that came out uh, a few years ago it was free with gold uh, eventually, it was some other flying game like this, but it was in color. Um, I can't recall the name of the game right now. But it sort of reminds me of that. Whoops. <laughs> you know, in typical Ratalaka fashion, you only have to beat the first... Well, actually, you don't even have to beat the second level to get credit for the achievement. You just have to get to the boss in the second level. You only have to beat the boss in the first level, technically. So, the, the game continues after the first two levels, of course. But, of course, the achievement's cut off after that. So, there's no point playing it, really. Ratalaka, they, they do this for every game. They make it the easy 1K for us. And, uh... Everyone likes it. <laughs> okay, I don't think I hit that. Well, whatever. You hit stuff that you don't think you hit sometimes in this game.
Got it. Just can't avoid that. Um, just fly over that obstacle. Just flying away here. Also in endless mode, we pick up the little collectibles, the little bird seat things or whatever, I'll call them. It does add to your uh, total score for endless mode. So once we play endless mode, we'll see. Ugh. This game is depth perceptionally challenged because everything is like flat but 3D. Really? <laughs> Alright, I think the boss is coming up now. Alright, so here we go. Got credit for being a level in dark mode. So pretty much for this boss, you have to make them run into things. We get another achievement for uh, getting to the boss. Sort of my head is in the way of the achievements, but whatever. Ah. Should have led him the other way. There we go. Make them run into those petals or flowers, whatever. Place those things good enough. <laughs> Looking good. There we go. <laughs> so you pretty much have to make them run into things four times. Getting them on the last one is a bit hard. When you, when you die, you do they do sort of save your progress a little bit, um, just a little bit. It's 
sometimes outside the box. Yeah, it's very outside the box. There we go. It's, it's, it is different, uh, a bit. Alright, so we got him down to one. This is where it gets interesting. Oh well. It's had to hit them. Couldn't avoid it, really. I let him too far, he would have ran into that. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait a while for him to do it again. There we go. That made it easy. I think on my first playthrough, I killed the, the big one first over the other one. <laughs> Alright, so we got credit for defeating the bug boss. Now for the next one, next two minutes left, we have to uh, just reach the second boss. We don't have to actually defeat it. So once we reach it, we'll just quit out and start up endless mode. <laughs> of course, the biggest challenge in this game is just getting there. There's achievement for uh, catching a fish, so we'll have an opportunity to do that uh, soon, later in the level a bit. Keep hitting so fuck. It's hard for me to play this game on this monitor, I guess. The depth perception is not very good in the game. So everything appears flat, but it's really 3D. Alright, so it's telling us to hold A to grab. I do recommend pressing A to grab stuff a little bit earlier than what it looks like you have to do. Because, like I said, the depth perception is not very great in the game. So, it looks like it is further away, but it's really not far away like that. Like you would think. through here okay, now we have the fish so we grab the fish you get more speed and we should get an achievement for doing it uh, eventually there we go <laughs> fishing catch a fish
Look at that. Yeah, this leaf that's going into the petal that made, made it more difficult to see. Checkpoint, so we're good. This one is to go. There we go. As long as you have to find a sweet spot on which direction to fly in to open those doors. Boss is coming up soon here. Hold up now. God, I don't really want to go through there. You respawn back at your checkpoint. So we're just going to go this way. I don't recommend going in there. I don't really know what they want you to do in there to get out of it, honestly. Like you said, go to the left, but did that and... Hey, BX, I did on heat. How's it going? Here's the boss, I think. Somewhere around here. Not yet. Jump the gun a little bit. Looked like it. Usually when he gets these big wide open areas, that's when the boss is coming. And here we go. We got credit for getting to the boss. You do not have to beat this boss to 1k the game, apparently. Although I do recommend playing it just so you know how to uh, beat the boss when you do endless mode. So to beat him, you want to pick up these bombs and make him eat them. <laughs> Oh, 
Oops. Got eaten by him by mistake. Yeah, very, very easy achievements in this game. So, pretty much you just want him to eat those things. Yeah, it's, just, it's pretty cool for, it's only $5, so it's not bad. eating me. Thanks for the resub Javor, really appreciate that. Whoa, it's doing both at the same time. Hold up now. Okay, there we go. Just eat your bomb and die. There you go, you're dead. Yeah, 399 and uh Euros, yeah. But, uh, that's that boss. Then the game just sort of continues on. Like nothing ever happened. Um. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, so we'll do endless mode. You have to get um, 200 uh, points in endless mode. You do have to defeat one of the bosses to proceed. So we'll see how far we get. And the bosses are random. So there's another snake boss, I guess, that appears on level 3. So uh, we'll I don't know how to defeat him, really. I'll die every time. So <laughs> we'll see. If, hopefully we don't get him. But um, the achievements, you don't get them in real time in Endless Mode. You do have to die to get the achievements. So, once you pretty much once you get to 200, you can just die and you'll be done. So, it's based on distance. So, the further you fly, the more points you get. And the boss shows up at a, around um, uh, 150, 140, somewhere in that range. And as I said before, you get more points if you collect these little white things in the air or whatever. Yeah, this is it, Lego. Um, I sunk in the water. Rip. <coughs> Ran to a spider and sunk. Well. Casey doesn't go outside. What do you? Yeah, exactly. What are you nuts? Fish. Don't really want the speed, really. So we're at 62 right now. Yeah, we need to get up to 200 to get the rest of the achievements in this game. Oh. Ran to a random leaf. Again, you do not regenerate health in this mode. Just picking up the little white things increases your score. So that's all you're really getting out of that. It. 
Yeah, Miles and Kilo Reach. That game, it, it was fun, but it, it uh, it does induce a little bit of rage, especially in the later levels. In the controls in the game really aren't as sharp as they should be. Like sometimes we jump or fire the little fruit at people, it doesn't really happen sometimes. Sometimes the jumping is a little bit weird. That's always a problem in some of the platforming games, is they can never get the jumping right. That's what made Mario so great. They got the jumping right in that game. Oh no, not this boss. Ugh. Alright, so we just have to make them run into a thing one time. But they do different uh, things than they usually did in, uh, in actually fighting them. need to go 50 more whatever points or meters or something or whatever I don't like this the frog is easier in the endless mode because all you got to do is just pick up the bomb and smack it all right we just need to go a little bit further you know we got this let's not screw it up and die okay <laughs> we almost screwed it up and died and we got 200. So technically, I can just die now and just be done with this. <laughs> we'll end up doing that anyway soon. <laughs> yeah, the, all the bosses only have one life, but uh, the frog is a little bit easier. Like I said, all you have to do is just put the bomb in his mouth and you're done like he the times I've done it he pretty much puts the bomb out almost immediately sort of you just have to avoid like one tongue swipe and one wave and he throws a bomb and you just throw it in his mouth and you're done yeah you get a lot of points for defeating the boss I'm not sure when another boss shows up probably at maybe Mm, 300? I don't know. 400? I've, I've never went this far. My first playthrough offline for this game, I just died after <laughs> getting to 200. Was, the achievements run out after this point, so there's really no point of playing the game without achievements, unless you just want to. So let's see if we can get another boss to show up. I think I'm pretty much dead after one more hit though, so um, we might not make it. <laughs> yep. Rip. Well, 329. That's better than what I've done before. Offline or whatever. So we got all 1,000 achievements. Um, how long have we been playing this game? Let's see. Um, started at about 2.03. So about 30 minutes. <laughs> Completion time. 30 minutes, I would say, for this time. It took me a little bit longer my first time because I didn't know how to beat the bosses exactly. Um, but now that I do, it's a lot easier. Now that you know how to beat them, you can also 1K this game in about 30 minutes. So I initially said about 45 minutes to an hour to 1K. So that was a little bit right. But um, anyway, this is our preview of Bird Game here on Xbox Live Network. Again, this game was developed by Brian Taber and published by Ratalaka Games. Released on the Xbox Store on May 1st for the price of $4.99. Be sure to pick it up today if you're interested in the game.